Question 21. 9 subtract 3.45. Well, what we could do here is we could do it in our heads. So we could imagine 9 pounds take away 3 pounds 45. Well, if you took the 3 pounds off first, 9 pound take away 3 pound would be 6 pound. And then you would have to take off the 45p. Well, if you take off the 40p first, you'd end up with £5.60. And then you would need to take off the extra 5p. And 5p off of £5.60 would be £5.55. But remember, we're not really talking about money. There's no pound signs in the question. So our answer is actually just... 5.55. The other way of doing it is to use a column method. So remember, this 9 is basically the same as 9.0, and 3.45 is the same as obviously 3.45. But we've got an extra column here that's got nothing in it. So we could do with putting an extra 0 in there to fill in the empty column. So we're talking about 9.00 take away 3.45. Now, hopefully, if we've done this bit right and done it with the money method, we should get the same answer when we do our column method. So let's have a look. So zero take away five, we can't do. So we borrow from the next column. But the next column is also zero. So we can't borrow from there, so we need to borrow from the nine. So cross out the nine and make it an eight. And then when we borrowed, make that into, this is first zero into ten. But that's still no use because we've still got 0 take away 5 on the end here. So cross out the 10 and we'll borrow from there and make that a 9. And the one we've borrowed turns the end 0 into a 10. Now we can carry on. 10 take away 5 is 5. 9 take away 4 is 5. And 8 take away 3 is also 5. Don't forget to put your decimal point in. So we've got 5.55 again using a column method, which is exactly the same answer as the mental method that we use with money.